this is a short tutorial on how to submit an article to a service called Article Marketing Automation or AMA. AMA is a service that lets you submit articles and variations of those articles to a variety of online properties. So these submissions usually contain links that point to your own blogs, websites, or properties. So you benefit from that by or through the backlinks that uh, point to your site after each submission. So the way we do it is uh, we write an original article which we submit to eZine and that same article gets submitted to another service called Content Crooner and then we rewrite that original article twice. We submit the second version to Linkvana and then we submit all three versions of the same article to AMA. So to start submitting to AMA, you need to prepare a couple of things. First, you need to log into your AMA account. So if you don't have one, you need to sign up for one. And then you need to prepare your three article variations and 10 title variations of the same article. So after logging into AMA, you'll get sent to your dashboard here. So you need to go to the right side and click on add or manage my articles over here. So that's just loading and that will send you to an article portfolio that looks like this where all your submitted articles are listed. Okay, So to submit a new article, you just need to click on add right there. That will take you to a submission page like this. So step one is to identify categories for your article. So there are three options here, one major category and two subcategories. So uh, in this case, I'll just choose business marketing because the article is more or fits that category best. But it also has something to do with internet marketing. So for this article, I would also choose this subcategory here, internet marketing. And for the second subcategory, since the article also mentions social media, I can also choose uh, social media right there, internet and business online social media. So today is April 3, so I can just leave the date here as April 3. For the article title field here, I can paste the 10 title variations that I previously wrote, but instead of just pasting the article titles as they look or as they were typed I have to format them so they can be accepted into the system so in AMA so to format titles in AMA you need to use uh, some special symbols here right so one is the curly brace an open curly brace and then at the end of the 10 tiles you also need to close this curly brace and you also need to use this symbol here uh, I think that's called the tilde but I'm not quite sure but these are the two symbols that you need to format the 10 titles so all you need to do is to put an open curly brace and then put a, a curly or curly symbol or a tilde in between each of the titles. So at the end of the formatted titles you need to put a closing curly brace like this. Alright, so I have already formatted the articles here so all I need to do is to select all and copy and then I can just paste the title on the title field here. Alright, for the article body this one also needs to be formatted. So as I mentioned before, you have three article variations. So each paragraph needs to be formatted in AMA and pasted into the box here. So to start, I just um, put an open curly brace here. And then I go to the first um, article version, first version of the article. I copy the first paragraph and I paste it there. Okay, uh, one, just one side note. Uh, sometimes when you copy and paste from a Word document, you get 
uh, some formatting issues. So instead of copying and pasting directly like this one, what you can do is you can just use the HTML editor there. Right? So I can put the opit in curly brace there. And then I paste the first paragraph of the first version. And then I put the curly symbol there. And I go fetch the second uh, or the first paragraph of the second version of the article. So this is the second version. I copy the first paragraph and paste it there. And then I put another curly symbol and then I go get the first paragraph of the third version of the article. So I copy that and paste it there. And I close with a curly brace like that. So because this is an HTML editor, we need to add two break tags there at the end or after the closing curly brace just to make sure that the article gets formatted correctly when it's submitted to the service. So after this, I can start pasting the second paragraph of each of the article versions. So I put another opening curly brace there. I go to the first version of the article and I copy the second paragraph, which in this case is a subtitle. I put a curly symbol right after that. I go to the second version and copy the second uh, sub uh, heading or title. Then I put a another curly symbol there and I go to the third version and I copy that one and paste it right there. Then I put a closing curly brace and two break tags. Oops, sorry. I just typed incorrectly. Right, and then I put another opening brace. I go to the first version and then copy another paragraph. Right there. Copy. And then I paste it. I put a curly symbol. I go to the second version. I copy another paragraph or the corresponding paragraph version for that. I go to the third version. Oops, so let me copy the third version of that paragraph here. And I paste it there. Right, so now you get the idea of what you need to do. So basically, you just need to copy paragraph by paragraph each of the versions of the article. So I'll just pause this video for a while so I can continue copying and pasting the paragraph versions. So after adding and formatting all of the article variations, all you need to do is to click update here and what you pasted into the HTML editor will automatically get get pasted here as well. All right? So step 2 is or the next step is to add your links inside the article body. So in AMA, you're allowed three links inside the article body and one YouTube video. So what we usually do is we inside the body, the article body, we link to one uh, or the home page and then one deep link or one deep page and one easy article and then we also put in the link to the video to to a youtube video so i've previously prepared three links that i'd want to insert into the body of my article so here's one uh, an easy link right so i can just copy the link there so the anchor text that I've identified for that is business marketing tips. So I just need to go back to my article and look for that anchor text. So I've placed that in the first paragraph there. Then I can just click the edit link button there. Then I can just paste my link. Right? So the title for the title of the link I'll just stick to ah, sorry. <laughs> business marketing tips right let's see if that gets inserted correctly uh, it, it's an error so let me just correct that business marketing tips 
Alright. Highlight that again. Insert or edit link. Paste it there. Alright, business marketing tips. And then I click insert. Alright. So remember that there are three versions of the article and three versions of each paragraph. So you need to add, when you add a link to one version of the paragraph, you need to add it to it add the link to the two other versions as well. So in this case, this is version 2 of this first paragraph. Alright, let me just add it there. This is marketing tips. Then I click insert. And then the, the third version is right over there. Okay, so I can add the link here. Business marketing tips. Then I click insert. So that's only for the first link. So you need to add two more links inside the body. So for the second link, I'd like to add SEO services. And then here is the URL I'd like to link to. So all I need to do is to look for the anchor text that I've previously inserted here. So uh, looking at the article, here is the text. So I can just add the link directly there. Right, so that's for the first version of the paragraph. So I need to look for another one here. So since the second paragraph is a rewritten version, or the second version is a rewritten version of the first one, I can just tweak this a bit so that it can include the anchor text that we've identified. So for the third version of the paragraph, we can just add a sentence so we can include the anchor text. So you can say something like, can uh, get the help of SEO services for this one. And then we add the link to the anchor text, SEO services. Now we need to add a third link. So again, I've identified a third link that I want to add. So it's SEO campaign, and this is the link here. So I go back to the article, and I look for the keyword here. So it's right over there, SEO campaign. I can just add the word there, or the link, right? So let me add a sec. Let add the link a second time here. Um, okay, so let me just add the word campaign here. Highlight that one. Alright. The third version can just add some text here, including SEO campaign tips and then just pop in the link right there okay oops campaign so the next step is to add some tags here so what we usually do is we just copy the anchor text that we've included so that's business marketing tips the second anchor text is SEO services and then the third anchor text is SEO campaign. So you just need to make sure that when you add the tags uh, that there's a comma in between each of the tags, each of the set of tags that you add. For the YouTube video, you can add a URL to you to a YouTube video that's applicable to the article. So of course this should be a YouTube video, your own YouTube video, okay, to promote your own video. Right? So unless of course you want to promote someone else's video. So you, uh, I've prepared a link to a YouTube video here, so I just copy and paste that one there. 
and then for the YouTube video link anchor text okay that's usually just the anchor text of the YouTube video that I've identified and pasted there All right so since this anchor text will get posted underneath the YouTube video I usually just capitalize the first letters of uh, each of the words okay because they will appear as a title okay so uh, I've added two two uh, anchor texts so this would mean that the service will automatically just pick one of the two for the variations of the article so again each anchor text that you choose to add should be separated by a comma so if I'm not mistaken in AMA uh, you can just add around uh, one to three variations of the link anchor text for the YouTube video right so now that I'm done adding that I just click I agree with the terms below okay so that means you agree to each of these terms and then I type in the captcha decorated free par and then once that's done I just click publish there after clicking publish you'll get a note here that says your article has been published the system will start distributing it into the network starting from the date you selected so if you scroll down you'll see your links there All right. so it's worth checking the links just to make sure that they link out to the correct uh, pages that you specified All right. Uh -huh. All right, those are all the right links. Okay. So if you actually hit refresh on your browser, that will give you a different um, version of the article. So that will spin, AME will spin your article for you and give you a different version of it so that you can also check the 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 second version here okay you can click refresh again and that will give you a third version of the article right there so you can check this version okay hit refresh again that will yet again give you another version for you to check and so on and so forth until you get to check all 10 versions so that's all there is to it to submitting an article to AMA if you want to learn more about the service, just type www.theseomethod.com slash AMA in your browser, and that will take you to the right page with more information about AMA.